Charles Martinet has always been the voice of Mario, whether it be from those weird Mario learning games of the 90s, to Super Mario 64, to now. Charles Martinet's is ubiquitously known around the world. Now, when the recent Nintendo Direct was released, Mario fans were ecstatic when they announced a new Mario game in the form of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. At long last, after six long years of a Mario drought, we have a new Mario game. Save but a port of the modern classic Super Mario 3D World that also included a surprise edition of Bowser's Fury, a novel open world Mario game that was fun but admittedly was very short. But finally, after those long years, we have a brand new Mario game and fans were excited to hear Martinet's iconic voice after he took a break from Mario to give Chris Pratt the reins for the Mario movie. But after the dust settled for this Nintendo Direct, things didn't seem right. It was a very bizarre trailer after all, but fans noticed something off about Mario's voice. A perceived difference. A very un-Charles Martinet quality to it. This was most notable in the now infamous Mario says when he gets the new elephant berry power up. Many fans, including myself, thought it to be just some funny business in the audio engineering. But a new clip surfaced from Japan. In the Japanese Direct, Mario has another line. When he collects the Wonder Seed, he says, Wonderful! It is very clear that this is not Charles Martinet. But before I get into this any further, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out in the long term. Anyway, back to the video. So, what's going on here? Did Charles Martinet really hang up the Mario cap? He has always loved playing the titular plumber, so why would he hang it up now? Some theorize that maybe he was bitter about the fact that Chris Pratt got the role in the Mario movie over him. Now if this is the case, he's justified in thinking this, but based on my limited knowledge of what kind of human Charles Martinet seems to be, I don't think that's the case. In all the interviews I've seen him in, he seems to be an upbeat and positive kind of guy. He has this cheery old man quality to him. And as stated before, he absolutely loves playing Mario. So for him to go from this happy-go-lucky wahoo loving guy to this embittered old prick behind the scenes just doesn't add up. I mean, that could legitimately be the case. He could be this absolute hard ass who was so butthurt by the fact that he wasn't Mario in the Super Mario Brothers movie that he told Nintendo that he would never be the voice of Mario again. But I just don't see Charles doing that. That's not the vibe I get from him. Again, I don't personally know him, but I don't believe he'd do something like that. He loves playing Mario. That's why he's done it for the past 30 something years. And to throw all of that away just because he wasn't Mario's voice in some dumb movie? I don't think so. Besides, when it comes to Hollywood studio produced movies, many studios can't use anyone outside the actors union. This is evidenced by the current writer strike and how it's more or less shut down all of Hollywood. And as far as I know, voice actors aren't part of any actors unions. So Nintendo and Universal's hands were tied when it came to who voiced Mario. And I'm sure Charles Martinet understood this given that he's been in the industry for as long as he has. So, but even in that case, I'm pretty sure at this point he'd want to voice Mario until he physically can't do it anymore. Which leads me to my almost final point. Maybe he's just ready to retire. He is an old man after all, and he's been voicing Mario for the past 30 odd years. His voice, though good, has been waning the past few years. Even in Super Mario Odyssey he sounded a bit old. Maybe he's finally to that point where his voice physically can't handle the strain that comes with voice acting. I mean, I will grant him this, he did sound good in the Mario movie, but he only had a select few lines. So, and a lot of them weren't physically demanding, you know, and he's still rocking it. But, again, he's old, and a man's voice can only hold up for so long after you've been doing it for so long. You know what I'm saying? 
And that leads me to believe that with the rise of AI voice replication, perhaps he saw this as a perfect way to ride off into the sunset. He can sell his voice rights to Nintendo for a healthy sum, so that he will forever be the voice of Mario and Nintendo will be happy because they won't need to recast Mario's voice and risk upsetting the fan base. Because we all know just how sensitive they can be, especially when it comes to Mario games. Trust me. And he's going through all this so that he may retire peacefully. But honestly, in my personal theory, I think that this Nintendo Direct was just weird almost rushed. Perhaps all those leaks that came out forced Nintendo's hand, so they quickly cobbled together a Nintendo Direct before their localization was properly finished. Many of these games don't come out till the end of the year, so that could legitimately be the case. I mean, even if you listen to the rest of the voice acting in the Super Mario Wonder trailer, it just seemed off. All the voices didn't have the usual polish they have in a completed Mario game. Maybe, perhaps, Martinet wasn't available, so they temporarily hired an impersonator to hold over. Either that, or they used an AI to impersonate his voice. That would explain why it sounds so janky. AI is good, but it still has a way to go before it can perfectly replicate human cadence. And that is what I believe, to be honest, because I, I just want to take the high road on this one. I just don't want to believe that Charles Martinet is ready to give up the cap. I know eventually it's going to happen, but he's still got a little bit in the tank, so I don't think he's ready to quite retire just yet. But what do you guys think of this whole thing? Hit me up in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.